All right, let's check it out here. Bum, 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 bum. Hello, 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 hello. She is confused. Hmm, I'm not quite sure this kind of works. It feels like she is. She's turning. The good thing is that she is actually translating from here to here. It doesn't feel like she's just rotating out of the center of her root, which is cool. It's just here. This last section is weird because it feels like it's a rotation here where arms and chests so change colors. Everything's kind of moving as one. Like one big piece versus if she turns, you know, it might keep that, that arm back there. This arm might go forward. It depends on what kind of steps she's taking. But she rises really high. And it kind of stops at the end too. It's like you're easing into and stopping this. So she goes, you know, that's a, that's quite a height difference. It seems like she's she's stepping on her toes. So I wouldn't go as high. I would stay, you know, within that doesn't really help either. Within this height, right? So it's basically uh, shoulder height. And then keep going, or or you cut out sooner. So this, yeah, probably cut out around here, here ish. If you do this, then just keep translating. It feels like your your translate curve does and just starts to stop. And this is this is kind of where we cut out. So keep going. Technically there. So that's cool. I think this is a bit fast. But that it still feels like she's hitting her head. Bam. And then watch out the rotation of your. Uh, of your phone, let me track this. So this is here, 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 here. You get that sudden rotation up, and now it's back down into this, this frame. So on this one, I would take your phone, and you can always keep that thing here, but rotate it uh, down this way. So right now, whoop, right there, that little pop there. There. And again, now just, you know, starting here, you have one, two frames until it hits her head. So I'll give this another two or three frames. Boom, super, super fast. I mean, you almost need like four or five frames from here on. Boom. And now also how her head goes over, her head goes over here. Boom. It really feels like she's getting hit. She looks very cross-eyed here, by the way. You want to bring out, bring out those eyes a tiny bit. For me, it's mostly how quickly she hits that thing here. Like Careful here too, you have this thing of... This is throughout your whole animation. For most shots that you submit is that when your chest... Imagine you have a joint here. It feels like the chest... When you move the chest, that her arms are always parented to it. See this? I see the chest now with this joint, you're rotating it this way, and this arm goes down with it, you know? It all feels connected as one. So you have to start breaking up the arm. Even here, it feels, even though this goes a bit more, but this section still feels very tight to her chest. That gets better. I do like that, that you're kind of changing the arm here. But then this... This feels a bit weird. It's, it's a bit pose to pose where her chest, head, and arm movements start and end at the same time. So overlapping actions. You know, this might stop first, and this, and then this, for instance. And then through here it feels weird because then her arm is always out, always out, always out, always out, always out. Where uh, to me it feels like she's like, she's like this. He goes, huh? I would still keep her, keep that arm down. At this point, you might go back into that because of this. But then when she goes back up, bring that arm down again. And then bring it out for balance. Because she's reaching over here, you want to bring this up for balance. And then when she comes back in, that's okay, you can bring it back in. Things up by now. Yeah, you cut out here, and this arm might be already here, and this one might be here.
What's also weird is that even though you have the smile and then you go into more hmm, like less of a smile, especially through here, I wish you would hold this mouth shape longer. That's okay, but I still feel those creases in here. It still feels like she has a smile. And then that smile is coming back. And then she's back to smiling. This feels a bit too early. After this weird phone call, and it, that's that's the right expression. Like, oh, that's kind of weird. She could turn around and still be within around this level of concern. Her eyebrows and her mouth like that. It's just weird that she goes, hello, hello, huh? That's kind of weird. And then she immediately goes into, I don't care. I don't care. I'm happy. Which is a bit weird and a bit forced. Right? That one. And then this one still has that feel of... Let's go back here. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, I know you want to have that rhythm of... But it still really feels like you're in your... Uh, let me change colors again here. In your graph editor, right? This is your graph editor. It feels like you translate really feel like this. You just have full stops. So instead of stopping fully, you want to go up a whole little bit, up a whole little bit. So you 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 feel the the stops a bit, but these feel like full stops. And these are a bit locked. Those arms, again, they're very much tied to the chest. So you can have a little bit more of a swing in there. Like the head, the head is pretty good. And then this is weird because you're getting... Framing gets a bit weird. You might want to stay within, you know, her eyes here. But like her head just a, a tiny bit lower. But the thing is, in order to do that, oh, that type of thing, what I would do is stay here and then change the lens. Because this, this is not a lens change. This is a, a translate. Because you can... Unless I'm totally wrong, but this really feels like a translate because of the perspective change and everything. It would be much flatter. Because if you go from this, this would be a wide lens, which whatever, I don't know what that is. That would be like a 35 or 40. And if you go on the lens like this, you might be switching to like an 80. Which, like, the longer you go, the flatter it will be. So, watch out for that. And the feeling is... If you do this, I will get to this and then hold for a second. You don't want to do a sudden boom and then cut out. Right? Which in this case, we will cut to the next shot. So, that, like that would do, huh? And starting around here, change the lens. Speed is okay. But then hold this. And again, I'll just bring her a bit lower. A little left. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Like eyes, right? Just the head a bit lower. But hold then for a second so we can see your expression. And, and the expression will continue. Huh? And arms and everything. The animation wouldn't just stop. But the big thing here is the root. And if you change the root, it's going to change legs and feet and everything. So I'm not going to comment on that. But I'll definitely change that, that root. All right? Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.